Hello everybody and welcome to Battletech's main menu. So, as you may have noticed if you're watching my Stellaris video from today, or my channel alert today, I had a slight issue with a Windows update that completely broke my entire install and I had to reinstall. Unfortunately, it would appear that the save game for Battletech was lost. This save game was the Flashpoint save game, not, in fact, the Heavy Metal save game. It's just gone. It's really, really frustrating, too, because this was supposed to be the last episode, and now I don't even know what we're gonna do. Like, <laughs> do we start over? Like, at this point, it's been 50 seconds. This isn't an episode. I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything downloaded because I'm re-downloading everything. I just finished downloading Battletech. Cloud saves did not seem to do the trick. And all we've got is old saves. So I guess what we do is we just hop in here and just do something quick as a like quasi finale. I don't know. I mean, that flashpoint wasn't going to be difficult, right? But I wanted to see it through. But, unfortunately, we just can't. Nothing to be done there. We've completed our uh, career here, but apparently there's a contract that's ready to go. What do we got here? We've got a Banshee. Now, this is a destroy base mission in a polar. This Banshee is... Medium laser is kind of set up for punching. I mean, this is going to be very old at this point, right? These designs. Triple PPC in the awesome. Yeah, this is not going to go great. <laughs> well, it'll be okay. Running a Cyclops LRM boat. I guess we'll just see what, what uh, me from a year ago thought was good. <laughs> I mean, the game was in a very different state then, right? So it's going to be bad. This is the current version of the game. And I guess we can talk about future plans for this slot. So I took a look at Rogue Tech, and I definitely want to do Rogue Tech. But not, I think, right now. Because I looked at it, and they currently have a, a few known issues that are kind of deal breakers. For one thing, it doesn't support the most recent version of the game, which is, I believe, the final-ish version of the game. They're not going to make major changes from here on out. So I'd kind of like to wait for Rogue Tech to support the latest version of the game. And also there's one particular thing, not being able to save in missions which I don't use for purposes of save scumming, I use for purposes of not playing anymore. <laughs> Sometimes we're in the middle of a mission and my recording session is over and I have to move on. Our target is the nearby Directorate base. Assault the base and destroy enough of it to force the Directorate to abandon the location. We should accept, expect strong opposition on this one. Be wary, Commander. Oliviera out. System's nominal. My so, handling the cold just fine. I think we're going to wait until Rogue Tech is updated and gets those issues fixed before we actually do anything Rogue Tech related. Just because I don't want to have massive issues like this. <laughs> so I think that's the plan. We're going to make sure that Rogue Tech is good to go. I am committing to doing Rogue Tech in the future. I'm just not necessarily committing to when that future is. Until then, though, there's that strong opposition, Commander. Watch your position and don't get flanked. Yeah, that'll be fine. Until Rogue Tech is updated, though, I think that uh, it's probably for the best if I play something a little bit less important, if you know what I mean. Like... In Rogue Tech, if, if things mess up, that's just that. And I also don't want to quit a Rogue Tech campaign partway through. But if we play something like Cities Skylines, then we can just have that as a filler, as a uh, temporary series. This Cyclops is not well armored. Okay. We can just have that as a limited series, and it's just whenever it gets finished... 
rogue tech that is with the latest update, then we can swap over to uh, playing rogue tech at that point. So I think that's what I'm leaning towards doing right there. Hello, we get to move now. This Cyclops is very exposed. We're going to get it out of there. Triple medium laser. Interesting. Okay, we've got decent hit odds on the Wolverine. I'm going to precision strike it. Okay. That did a decent amount of damage. Like, that did more stability damage than I expected. Got that Thunderbolt moving in. Internal damage here. Okay. I mean, I don't like Cyclops. <laughs> We may end up losing this. This is mostly just filler, right? Because we don't really have anything that we can do, so. I see why I was training these pilots at the end of the last series. Uh-oh. That was very lucky. None of that hit the internal torso there. So yeah, I think overall that's the plan, is that we will do a limited series, and the limited series will be a City Skylines build, because I did have a request to bring that back, and I would like to do that. So I think it'll be City Skylines until such a time as Rogue Tech is updated. When Rogue Tech has, gets updated, then we will definitely do some Rogue Tech, because that will be excellent. Roger that. I'm gonna put the awesome here. This is not going well. I mean, these weapon systems are kind of garbage. Roger that. Ooh, these hit odds. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect for how my day is going today. Oh yeah, excellent. Well, they just sensor locked the Cyclops. I mean, it does bear noting that I have just no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Armor blow through. And we got a knockdown on the Cyclops. That's actually pretty bad. Okay. Really hurts. Could have been worse. Reporting critical hit. Unfortunately, they get to move their phase three movers now. Oh, but they're attacking the Banshee. That's completely fine. And also attacking the Banshee. Okay, that's good. Must not have had LOS on the... Uh, minor damage. On the Cyclops. Yeah, they definitely don't have LOS on the Cyclops. I mean, it's not like any of this matters. It's just a uh, a backdrop, but we're kind of outnumbered here. Damage is minor. In fact, we're quite outnumbered here. We definitely need to start killing some of them. Order. Okay, we are just going to walk in here, and we are going to eliminate this Shadowhawk. Straight in through this torso, we will avoid firing this medium laser. Right? That gives... Plus one accuracy. Okay. Taking the shot. And our hit odds are bad. <laughs> I should have brought better pilots to this, clearly. Also, I should have gotten the Cyclops up. Can we do that this round? Yeah, we absolutely can. Or no, we can't. The Cyclops is in phase one. Orders. Okay. We can jump the Highlander here, though, to try to shield the Cyclops. That's exactly what we're going to do. There is a heavy sniper turret there, but we're going to go for the Wolverine. This over here is... what is this? Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah, these hit odds are really not great. Inflicted some heavy damage. 
got a knockdown on the Wolverine, though. That's something. Okay, they're attacking the Banshee. That's a good thing. Thunderbolt steps forward and does a whole lot of nothing. Yes, Commander. So let's take the awesome up over here. We'll go. How much HP does this turret have? Too much. We're gonna toss the PPC and the large laser at it, and the other two PPCs are gonna go with the Wolverine. Confirmed. Actually, other way around. Okay, that's a dead Wolverine. That's 100 damage to the sniper turret. Perfect. Okay, what is this guy? Cold shotting the head. That was a yikes. It's a lot of LRMs. Standing by. Unfortunately, that was the side of our Cyclops that had most things. Well, our Cyclops was uh, All right. really poorly positioned Back by me. Fire the LRMs at that guy, and the medium laser at that guy. Acknowledge. Okay. So that heavy sniper turret is taking a fair amount of damage. That thunderbolt is taking less damage than I'd like. They're attacking the Highlander. That was actually perfect. Less perfect to be attacking the Cyclops, though. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, they're shooting right through the Highlander and shooting at the Cyclops. I don't blame them. Rip other arm. That really hurts. Do you have any weaponry left? All my no. Okay. That's fine. Lots of armor. Really? Oh, that arm only has 15 armor because breach. there's nothing Internal over there. Damage. Yeah, that's fine. So other mediums are now going to move. It's almost like I don't know how these mechs are set up anymore, and the game has changed or something. <laughs> they just keep focusing the Cyclops. I'm taking internal damage. Well, that's okay. It's a Centurion. Excellent. Yes, kill the Cyclops. Actually, it's not going to die. We can just sprint it around and try to evasion tank with it. And try to waste their time. Assuming it survives this round, because that's a bit of an assumption at this point. They have a lot of mediums. Okay, they're starting to split their fire. Okay, our turn. So we're going to take the Cyclops, and we are going to sprint it over here. We're going to turn our back to them t as well, because we still have some armor in the rear. There we go. The Shadowhawk is going to back off and fire on the Highlander. Okay. Go for it. Awaiting orders. The Highlander, I think... We're going to go ahead and jump over here. Actually, over here. Jump set, engage. And we've got the heavy sniper turret here. It's got 60 HP left on it. I think we'll fire the medium lasers at it. So medium lasers at that guy. And then... This is a Jaeger? That's a Jaeger. That's a pretty decent secondary target. Acknowledging multiple targets. There we go. One dead sniper turret. And one relatively damaged Jaeger. We're firing on the Banshee, who I'd like to get to cover. Systems holding. And the Thunderbolt Ace pilots over into rough terrain over there. Okay. Aye, aye. 
We're still working on moving the awesome towards cover, although maybe we should aim for this cover over here. I don't know. Moving to position. They've got all these mediums up here. Be nice to have the bull shark right now, but unfortunately that is lost forever. Thanks, Microsoft. I appreciate you forcing me to update and losing all of my stuff. May have lost the save through KSB, too. We're, uh, yet to determine that. Okay. Some damage to the Thunderbolt. Nowhere near as much as I would like. I don't like PPC builds anymore. I don't think they're good. Oof. All that armor is gone over there, too. Well, these setups aren't good anymore. They may have been good in the past. I'm actually unsure. They may not have been at some point. I want this Shadowhawk dead, like, really badly. We're going to have to avoid firing a bunch of medium lasers. Engaging. And missing point blank. I like it. They've got a lock on me. Okay. They're firing on the Cyclops. Rip. <laughs> yep. I don't care if these pilots die. These these setups are really bad. I don't know what me a year ago was thinking. Except that uh, the game is very different now. Heavy Metal changed a lot of things. And Urban Warfare, actually. Like, this is a Flashpoint build. This, is, this is, does not have Urban Warfare or Heavy Metal. I mean, the game does now. But it's not... The, these builds aren't built for that. So we're very likely to lose this, but this is just filler. Yeah, we're taking internal damage over here. Excellent. Yep, me a year ago sucked. <laughs> it's glorious. Well, I don't think there's too much point in prolonging this at this point. Like, we don't have a chance. These builds are too crappy, as are these pilots. So as soon as I get the opportunity, I'm just going to withdraw. Bad faith. Yep. Let's get out of there. Fantastic. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And I hate to say it, but that has to be the end of Heavy Metal. Like, it's just it. This isn't heavy metal here. This is this is the flashpoint save. The heavy metal save is just gone. Only one episode left, too. I was going to finish it this episode. Oh, well. Starting up tomorrow in the 4 p.m. slot, we are going to start a cold weather playthrough that is as of yet unnamed of City Skylines. And after that, well, not after that playthrough is done. Oh, hello. Okay. Apparently my phone came unplugged. After that playthrough is done, which will be when Rogue Tech updates, then we are going to come back to Battletech and start playing Rogue Tech. Until then, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.